With the implementation of the STAR testing system, high school students will take 12 end-of-course exams known as EOCs. A student's performance on these exams will fall into one of three performance categories. Level 1, unsatisfactory academic performance. Level 2, satisfactory academic performance. Or Level 3, advanced academic performance. The Texas Education Agency is expected to set the standards for the three performance levels in February of 2012. Students will also earn a cumulative score for each foundation subject area, math, science, English, and social studies. The individual EOC exams in each subject area will be added together to determine a student's cumulative score. In order to graduate, a student must have a level two or satisfactory cumulative score in each subject area. A student must also achieve a minimum score on each EOC exam for the score to count towards the cumulative score. This minimum score will be set by the TEA within a reasonable range of the passing performance. For certain graduation plans, a score above the minimum score is required. To understand how cumulative scores will affect high school students, here's an example involving the three math EOCs, Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. This is only an example since the Texas Education Agency has not yet established the passing scale score requirements for the EOCs. In this example, we've made a minimum scale score requirement of 900 on each of the three math EOC assessments. In order for a student to achieve a minimum passing score, then he or she must score at least 900 on each. However, scoring the minimum of 900 on each of the math EOC exams does not meet the cumulative level 2 math score requirement in our example, which is 3,000. Students having a cumulative score below the requirement will not meet graduation standards. In order to graduate under the new STAR system, high school students must achieve a minimum passing score on all end-of-course exams listed here and meet the state's Level 2 cumulative score requirement in all four content areas, which are math, science, English, and social studies. Here is another example using the three math end-of-course exams. In this example, our student scores a minimum passing score of 900 on the Algebra 1 EOC. In Geometry, he scores 1100, which is above the minimum passing level. In Algebra 2, he scores 1000, which is also above the minimum level. When added together, the three math EOC exam scores equal to 3000, which meets the cumulative score requirement in our example. In another example, using the three math EOC exams, our student receives a score of 1,000 in Algebra 1 and 1,000 in Geometry, which are both above the minimum passing score. However, in Algebra 2, he scores an 850, which is below the passing standard. The student must retake the Algebra 2 EOC and he must score at least 1,000 on the exam in order to meet the cumulative math requirement of 3,000 in our example. For more information about high school end-of-course exams, cumulative scores, and graduation requirements under STAR, visit the HISD STAR website at houstonisd.org slash STAR. That's S-T-A-A-R.